We've got a locked in Alivortex on the mound, starting it off in a little bit of a different spot than we usually do because it's game time from the Emerald Diamond as we get set to take on the San Fernando Firecats. A few changes in the lineup today. We got Will Thunderer back, Molly O'Connor back behind the dish. Number 11, Stella Frick. Stella Frick going to lead us off against Della Vortex. The southpaw alternate unis for the Bullets and the first pitch of the ball game is fouled away. We are underway from Seattle. And that's inside a ball. 1-1 one, one count to Stella. Now 2-1 as Ella gets a swing and a miss to even things at 2. That's on the ground and threw a base hit to lead off the ball game for Stella Frick and the Firecats in business for their two-hole hitter. Number 25, Joel Gilbert. Joel Gilbert going to step in, take first cuts against a locked-in Ella who winds, kicks, and throws. And that's not there. So a little bit of trouble finding the strike zone. Part of that may be due to the slightly smaller strike zone that was put in in the last update. That's on the ground. Could be two, second, one. First, not in time for two. Runner stays at first. They did get the lead. So there's a runner at first. Frap Anger. Frap Anger. And stepping in and uh, we're hoping we can continue the good things. Bullets have played a few good ball games as of late. And that's hit on the ground and handled for an out. Runner is back in time to avoid the double play. And there are two gone. Rip Richard. Rip Richard standing in the box now. And the purple and orange for San Fernando. And that's high a ball. And that's a strike even up. Excuse me, one apiece, 2-1. Ellis struggling to find the zone a little in this first inning and gives up another hit. Should only be good for a single and it will. So there are two on with two out here in the first. Number 15, Lucy Crawford. Lucy Crawford playing the hot corner for the Firecats tonight. Today, I, either way, I suppose it's kind of an evening game. An 0-2 count for Vortex trying to get out of a bumpy first. Not going to have it on that one. Foul the way. We'll do it again. 0-2. And another fair ball. That could score the first run of the day and will. So San Fernando leads 1-0 here in the top half of inning number one. Number 26, Lover Logan. Lover Logan. Trying to add on here. Still two out. Ella could get out of it only having given up one. And she winds and deals. And that's handled. Throw across in time to end the inning, but the Firecats strike first, and they lead this one one nothing. Here come the Bullets on offense. Alternate October unis for Blamo Battery to lead us off. A little breast cancer awareness uniform, blind guy design. So take that with a a grain of salt. But Battery's ahead. And it's 2-1 on the pitch. <laughs> you bet that's a in there, 2-2. Two, two. And a full count to Blamo Battery, who will whack that on the ground. Should be playable, however, and the throw across. Will retire Battery. Comes Dustin Schaffer, and the latter part of this lineup is looking good. Schaffer in the two-hole. Hasn't done much for us as of late. He pops that down the line fair, and he'll have a hit. And he's going to be there at first base for the exciting part of this lineup. Absolutely. Canopy Cannon, who's been having a season, steps in. I wish I could read the stats better, but you can go ahead and do that yourself if you're interested. That's what you get when you stick a blind guy behind the mic and Canopy in a 1-1 count. Swings, hits that one on the ground, and that's going to get through. Canopy continues his hot streak as there are two aboard now. And this guy is locked and loaded. On fire for Cesar Jacks. Big spot here, two on with only one out. And it could be a good spot for Cesar to wind up and do something about it. 1-1 one, one the count, here it comes. And fouls it away. Behind now, one and two. Here is the pitch. Not there. Two balls. Two strikes to Jax. 
Swing and a whack, and that could probably end the inning. Second for one, and that's all they're going to get. So they're going to be at... Oh, no, I think that was... So Dean Robinson. Sorry. The I believe we're at second and third. Let me get to that diagram. Yep, that's the case. So second and third, two off. Dean Robinson in no one count. Even up at plane 11 for Dean. Who whacks that, and it's handled to end the inning. So tried to threaten and score back, did the bullets, but not successful. We move to the second, one nothing San Fernando. Number 18, Evelyn Gray. Apple and Graves, good name for Halloween, which is coming up this week. Any big plans? Yep. Gotta work both Halloween festive uh, jobs that I have. We're doing big things, so should be a fun day, if not a little exhausting. It's been a very stressful little while here, and Ella is not with it. And finally gets one in the zone. Swing and a miss, gets a strikeout. Way to come back from a rough start to that at that, Ella. What in the world, hunky English? Is that, was that what I just heard? I'm not sure. But anyway, Ella deals. That's fouled away one strike. Two of those now. 0-2 oh, pitch. Going for the second K of the inning. Not going to have it on that one. Hit down the line and not able to be handled. I believe that may be an error. And the runner will reach at first. Stamp Intense, the starting pitcher, I think, for San Fernando. Bonks that strange little bunt. Almost good enough for a double play, but not quite. The center field, number 11, Stella Frank. Here's Stella. Oh, is it Frank? I don't know. Here's Stella anyway. You even remember a, a like music song that was like Stella Ella Ola or something? I don't know. That That's what popped into my head immediately. And San Fernando with another hit, Stella with a single, and there are two aboard now. Here's Joel Gilbert. Part of that first inning that allowed San Fernando to take an initial lead. Ella deals that left field for Gilbert, and that's trouble. And it will be caught. I'm going to sneak right here behind me into my fridge as that ends the inning. And we're still a one nothing score. Agro Pepper is going to lead it off for us. And open this over the sink. Agro Peppers wax that on the ground. The throw is in time to get him, however. Royal Thunderer back in the starting lineup. I had to grab a, a soda. I've got some, uh, I like, I don't know what you'd call it, craft soda? I've talked about it in this series before, but girlfriend picked up a few for me, and uh, I opened one at random, and it's some sort of a raspberry uh, concoction. Very good. That's good for the second out. Speaking of good, well, not good for us, but uh, here's Molly O'Connor back behind the dish after taking a game to... Uh, Get some R&R. &R. I think she actually ended up playing right field anyway, but, uh, you know, maybe less strenuous for her. She's not as tense as she had been, and she is thrown out on the strikeout. So the Bullets have failed to do anything with their first two innings. We move to the third. one nothing Firecats. Number 67, Rap Andrew. Well, here's Andrew. <clears throat> And promptly winks that one. Ella having a little bit of trouble in this start. And the defense not able to help her out. Here's Rip Richard. The defense struggling a little bit to uh, supplement for the pitches in the zone. I mean, when she's outside the zone, she's way outside. But when she's in the zone, she's giving up hits. Uh, luckily, to this point, it's only been a one run you know, amount of errors, and she gets a strike out there, so hey, for Ella to come back from it, and here's Lucy Crawford. Looks like a Dr. Seuss character or something like that. Thinking of Cindy Lou Who, of course, but I don't know, Lucy Crawford, or an old actress. Almost had the swing of the miss, just managed to get a piece, did Lucy. Wax that down the line, foul this time. 
Ella just can't find that put away pitch and gives up a hit. Until she is laboring a little bit in this start. She came in hot. And here's Logan. See what he can do here. Big spot. Gonna try to limit the damage if you can, but that has been a rough point. 0 2 though, and Vortex winds kicks and deals a foul ball. Trying to get that strikeout. She's had a few today and uh, not able to get them. There it is, a strikeout for Ella. Well earned, and that's got to feel good to get yourself into a better position. Here's Evelyn, and, uh, well, trouble afoot to be sure, as there are two men out. Oh, shoot. Don't mind me just throwing stuff on the floor. Oh, man, that got on papers. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hold up. Not life-threatening, but annoying. Here's Ella Vortex. I just uh, have some stuff on my desk I would rather not have covered in soda, preferably. So we're going to do something about that, and the Firecats are going to be robbed. What a play by somebody. I apologize. I'm fielding a spill. Here's Blammo Battery. I think we've, oh man, we have not gotten out of the worst of it. How to explain this? Um, that is a long way down and fair in the corner somewhere. Someone's getting after it. Throwing papers and, uh, okay, well, we're cooking. Here's Dustin Schaffer. Trying to get something going for the bullets. There is uh, one away and a runner aboard. I love the audience. I've seen more hot dogs with more mustard on them. Rude. Schaffer trying to do something here. One away. Wax it. And handled. No problem. And that is going to hurt a little bit, to be sure. Here's Canopy Cannon. If there was a guy that you would want in a spot where you could do something. That was inside a ball. I'm listening to the commentary. I'm grabbing a towel to deal with this. It wasn't a lot of soda, but it just kind of flew. <laughs> Ball, that's inside. This is the professional level content you can expect Ball, from my Ball. channel as that's a walk. Well, you'd never want to say no to a, a walk. Here's Sesser Jax now. And Jax could get us back in this thing with one swing of the bat. He's got the pop to do it. That's not there. One ball, one strike. Ball outside. Hoping the other things that I have here are not important enough to be. Well, here's one piece of junk mail that appears to have gotten uh, bonked, which not too worried about that one. Runner goes! And was that a ball four? I think it was. All right. Here's Dean Robinson, and uh, the Bullets all of a sudden are in a position to start making some offensive noise. Intense gets a foul ball on the first offering, still two away. And uh, a loaded bases situation ignored by your commentator because of raspberry soda. All right, big pitch here for Intense. It's a foul ball. And that's not there. All right, big one. Runner goes fouled away. What a spot and handle easily throw across is going to turn the bullets away with nothing once again. Well, I had the spot to do something and just couldn't get it done. Number two, Monkey English. Here's English. Man. Not what you want to see after having the opportunity to get back in this ball game you don't want to be giving it up with both hands all right a strikeout for vortex starting to find a groove on the mound your stamp intense there's a strike to start the at bat 01. 
is hit on the ground foul. Another foul ball will keep things at 0-2. For intense. Swing and a miss. Ella feeling the rhythm. Two outs both on the strikeout here this inning. And here's Frank. I think. All right. Swing and a miss to start out Ella's at bat. Or Stella's at bat or somebody's at bat. That thing's bonked to left and caught. A good inning there on the fourth for Ella Vortex and still just a one run deficit. It's doable. It just needs to be dude. Agro Pepper is going to be the first to try to do so in the bottom of the fourth. Yep, that's inside. inside a ball to start him out. That's there, 1-1. One, one. Yep, that Whack to left field and that's going to get down for Peppers. What a second and he will Try for third. He's in there with a triple. Agro Peppers. Not the fastest guy, but he'll try. And here's Royal Thunderer. Good chance to tie up this ball game and put the bullets back in it. First pitch to Royals outside a ball. One ball, one strike. Good chance to do something. Just get a hold of one, and she does. Grounds it. They're going to go somewhere with it, and I think they managed to get the out without allowing the run, which is impressive. Molly Connor. All right. Well, Molly O'Connor's got to get it done now. One gone. Still a good spot. And the first pitch is outside a ball. Runner goes. You trying to take the... What do you do? What in the world was any of that? I don't know what just happened. I heard the runner go from somewhere. Ella Vortex. Pitcher going to stand in and be replaced Nick by Nick Jackman. Runner at third. No, Walk of the mic like a complete moron. Not a good spot to be in here. Fouled away and it's one ball, two strikes to Nick. On the ground. Potentially playable, the throw in time and the run doesn't score. And we're gonna see somebody new on the uh, mound. Still one nothing, the bullets have gotten so close to, you know, getting back in to this ball game but haven't been able to do it. And Joel Gilbert is gonna lead off. And that's a foul ball, we have a Wedge Villagas in the game on the mound. I would be lying to you if I said that didn't make me a little nervous. But he's counting a few fouls in his head. So we'll take it. That's hit down the line. Foul again. That one should have enough air to be dealt with. And it will. Yes. All right. We'll take that. And here's Andrew. Finding the kick from Wedge. First one's not there. That's a ball. 1 0. The count. Swing and a miss. And bonk to left. That is trouble if it stays fair. And that'll be foul. Would have been out of here. Three balls, two strikes. Full count pitch from Villagas. Swing and a miss, he got him on a strikeout. Here's Rip Richard, and now you would think it's time for Wedge to buckle down and finish this inning. I don't know that I'd ever say strong and, and Wedge in the same sentence, but uh, reasonably would be good, I think. Another foul. Trouble away, and that one hit on the ground. That's not going to get anywhere. Foul again. And that's a walk, the first of the ball game for the Bullets, the first here for Wedge. And here is Lucy Crawford. Lorenzo Clark going to come in. It's a close game. That's the move I would have made in favor of bringing in Wedge in the first place, but I have no authority, and Clark... 
on the first pitch he serves in the inning. All right, bottom of inning number five up and coming. Still just a one-run deficit. It's doable. It's still doable, folks. Don't go anywhere. Here's Blamo Battery ready to start us off and does so with a strike. All the way, 0-2. Not there, a ball, 1-2. Another one out of the zone, two balls, two strikes. Hit on the ground, and, or hit not on the ground, but handled anyway, and it's an out. All right, here's Schaffer. Shades abound. Rodney Bach. Rodney Bach. Or Bach. That's a strike. Rodney, who? Who's a what's it? A strike. Two straight strikes. Down the line, but foul. And that's a strikeout. Schaffer. Back to the dugout with you. Well, here comes Canopy Cannon. Looking to do damage here and maybe tie this ball game up or at least threaten to do so. And better to do it when you're ahead in the count. One ball, one strike to Cannon. Not there, 2 1. On the ground, and that will be handled to throw across in plenty of time. And the bullets turned away again with a big old goose egg. Six innings are, well, five have come and gone. Six are up and coming. And here comes Logan. Good chance to add to this lead for the Firecats. Two ball, or one ball, no strikes. That's popped foul, playable. That'll be good for an out. All right. We'll take it. Here's Evelyn Graves, and now you hope that Lorenzo can continue to shut down this Firecats ball club. This pitch not there, 1-0. Two balls, no strikes. That thing's bonked pretty good to right field, and that'll be handled and out. All right. Number two, Monkey English. Mm -hmm. Is it Monkey or Funky? I don't know. English stands in. Clark deals a strike. Crowd is reasonably into the ball game, as well these Bullets fans tend to be, and that is a strikeout. Well, we're running out of time. Six outs. Just one run to get, though, so it's not out of sight. And Cesar Jacks, who came into this ball game in a heck of a spot. Cassius Jennings is going to take over on the mound and uh, take on Jacks, who came in on fire. That's in there. One ball, one strike. Down the line, get down, ball, and it will. I'll find some real estate out there, so Jax is aboard at first base. Long single. Well, that's what you like to see. Dean Robinson stands aboard now, and the tying runs at first. And that's not there. One ball, no strikes. Foul away to make it one and one. That's it down the line as well so one ball two strikes big pitch here not there two two and that's on the ground two ball second one first back in time double play two away nobody out or excuse me other way around nobody on two away here's agro peppers oxley odell and another change being made agro peppers Aboard, and that's a strike. Foul away. No balls, two strikes to Peppers. Popped up, and that's going to end the inning. No problem there, and the bullets turned away in the sixth. Pitchers duel up to this point. one nothing ball game. We're moving to the seventh. New batter that I couldn't hear the name of because I was only paying attention like a third of the way. I don't know how to explain that, but a strike anyway. Oh, I'm tired of our offense not doing anything. That's what I'm tired of. 
Strike out. All right. Way to start the inning for Lorenzo. Number 11, Stella Frank. Here's Stella Frank. Oh, man. Now the pressure's on. Things bonked on the ground. Throw across the diamond is in. Not in time. Excuse me. And there's a runner aboard. Here's Joel Gilbert. Runner aboard and first able to leg out a ground ball and uh, not where you want to be, but a double play ends the inning. Pickoff attempt is not there. Don't pick off. It's fine, don't worry about it. Not there. All right, big pitch here. All right. All the way, we'll do it again. Here it comes. On the ground, that's gonna find some grass. And somebody better get to that baseball, and that's gonna score a run for San Fernando. A 2 0 ball game, and that might be all they need today. Number 67, Rap Andrew. Here's Andrew. Well, you don't want to let anybody get ahead in a game like this. That's, you know, kind of that low scoring affair, a pitcher's duel, to be sure, but. You know, you don't want to give them any more than that because now we got twice the work to do in the bottom half of the inning. On the ground and throw is in time. So that'll be good for an out. Number five, Richard. Here's Richard. Well, there's two out. That's a strike. That's a strike for Clark. Out there, a ball, 1-1. One, one. On the ground and fair. Now well, that'll score another run, uh, third, and that's the crowd starting to get a little displeasure. Disappointed, Lucy Crawford digging in. Out there. And the upset nature of this Emerald Diamond crowd is becoming apparent, but that has popped up should end the inning. And it will do, but first, the Firecats scored a couple runs. We got three to get, bottom seven, crunch time. As we're down to our last three outs. Here's Royal Thunderer. Well, first pitch is a strike. One ball, one strike to Royal back in the lineup today. Hits that one on the ground, get through. And it will not. One gone. And here comes Molly. Two outs, three runs to get. Here in the seventh. First pitch is fouled away. No balls and one strike. Bonked it. Bonked it good. Just bonked it. Foul. 0-2. Not there outside, a ball, one, two. Oh. Swing and miss. And the bullets are down to their final out in this one. Here's Lorenzo Clark, you'd think he'd be replaced here, and he will. Layla Uptown gonna come on in in this spot and represent the final out. And that's hit on the ground, foul, oh, one. Oh, and two to Uptown. Final strike for the Bullets. That's down. Not there, but we'll do it again. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and that is going to be the ball game. Well, San Fernando takes the win. Final score of three zip. It was a good one nothing ball game until that top of the seventh. Look at the big numbers for those who may or may not be interested. And, uh,. Man, Ella pitched decently. Unfortunately, she took the loss. Four innings, seven hits, one earned run. Five strikeouts for her. And uh, not the ball game you would have hoped for, but it's the ball game we got, and we're going to head out of here after that one. A frustrating loss. Need more offense. But that's how it goes. Welcome to the game of baseball. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, if you didn't catch it, 
in our previous episodes, this is going to be a weekendly series uh, from here on in. So look for this on uh, Saturdays and potentially Sundays as well. At least one per weekend, potentially two. Uh, so prepare for that. And hope you guys are enjoying. I decided to start at a different spot. Let me know if that was a good, bad, or if you don't care either way. And we'll get you our preview as we get ready to take on the Hugoton Stationers 7-7, seven and seven, five hard ball club. They are contact specialists. We are balanced, as always. 8-6, and six, so only a game better. And we will send Getty Doctor to the mound. Getty this season, 1-2 and two with a 5 Five eight six or I can't quite read that, but over a five ERA is all you need to know. On the other side, it's going to be uh, Keith Bungalow on the hill. Got decent velo and decent junk. He's got the cane neglector trait, however, and he is no record but a two one three ERAs. All of that and much more coming at you as we continue this series. Here in Super Mega Baseball 4, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, queries, theories, concerns, ideas for world domination, or anything else besides, please don't hesitate to put those in the comment section down below. We will see you for our next ball game as we get ready to take on the Stationers. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Peace.